It has been two years since heavy rain, flash flooding, and just simply devastating flooding occurred in eastern Kentucky and central Appalachia. Bossy Prokos joins us in studio this morning after meeting with a flood survivor who's reflecting on the flood anniversary. Yeah, guys, the region is still in the process of rebuilding. While signs of the flood remain, the area faces many challenges as it attempts to recover and rebuild hope. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> it sure does. It don't seem long at all. For Knott County native Evelyn Nichols, hey, the aftermath of Eastern Kentucky's floods still brings back horrifying memories. She says no matter how much time passes or will pass, there's always a reminder when she steps outside and sees where her house once stood. We couldn't do anything. It just came so fast. We didn't realize it. Nichols was inside her home with her son at the time of the flooding, when all of a sudden she felt the home shift off its foundation and float away with her in it. We felt it moving. I said, I said, Lord, we're going to die. We're going to die. It was absolutely terrible. So many people died, little children, everything drowned. Nearly 9,000 homes were damaged or destroyed across 13 counties in eastern Kentucky. Don't seem real. Yeah, I'm in my house back. I'll never have it. While Nichols will never see her home again, she thanks those who stepped in to help during a time of disaster. FEMA gave me money, but you know, it wasn't enough to do, uh, the block land and buying the block and everything was a fortune. So I just heard about this and I put in an application and here they finally got here. <laughs> the volunteer-based group, Appalachia Service Project, aims to rebuild homes so they are safer, warmer, and drier for the people of the Appalachia region stepping in to repair what was lost and build hope throughout a broken community. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love them, everyone. That little Rebecca, she's something else. Yeah, they're all, they're all good people. This is the third, third ones has been here. Center Director for ASP in Knott County, Rebecca Gutierrez says she has seen firsthand the devastation that families struggle with after a natural disaster and is thankful she has the opportunity to give back as she is able to provide a place for new memories to be made. As both staff and volunteer, you're able to get so much from these families and take away more than you would expect coming into this week. Um, the way they welcome us into their houses, cook us meals, even when they've lost so much during the flood, and just welcome us into their lives is really special. <laughs> Knott County is only one of the 17 counties that ASP serves. And officials say that over the seven weeks of repairing and rebuilding homes, Knott County ASP was able to finish 15 homes.